Hey, Frank, how would you describe Anthony Davis's performance, and especially just as it looked like his shoulder was a bit sore? You know, he gutted it out, you know, playing playing in some pain, and um, it was dominant, you know, is, is probably the, the word. I mean, he was obviously impacting the game on both ends of the floor, but, um, you know, just the, the pressure he puts on a defense, you know, with uh, his ability to spin out of lobs, his ability to attack the basket with the ball, and then what he's doing on the glass is, is spectacular as well. So, um, you know, they didn't have an answer for him tonight, and he was terrific. Did you get any uh, answer from him, just what happened specifically with the shoulder and, and what the kind of the plan was is to get him through the game? No, I mean, we just, you know, I just met with the medical team and or, or discussed it with the medical team, uh, told them during that, that first time out, and check him out and, and let us know if we got to pull him, we'll pull him. And, um, you know, they decided he's good to go. Frank, uh, tonight and also the last couple games, your, your team has been, like, interacting with the crowd, you know, raising their hands, making more noise. Le LeBron was having some fun at the end of the bench tonight. Considering all the attention and, and you, maybe you call it pressure on this team, uh, do you think that's a, a way to, to use the attention in, in a positive way for this group? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, this is a fun team. You know, our, our guys like to, you know, we like to work. Uh, we, we understand the importance of it, but, you know, it's still basketball at the end of the day, and it should be fun, you know, especially when you're uh, you're playing well. Um, our team's on a run, and, uh, you know, those guys enjoyed it, so they deserved it. Hey, uh, Coach, the, is, the starting group hasn't necessarily come out of the gate very hot, and you guys have, of course, you know, gotten the wins. How patient are you going to be with that group, and is some of that just kind of waiting for a couple of guys to get healthy? Well, it's a, it's, it's a little bit of waiting for guys, some guys to get healthy. I, I like to look, do rotations, you know, in, in sort of five-game increments. You know, like let the preseason play out. Okay, what have we settled on? Let's see what this looks like for five games. You know, there's a lot of peaks and value, valleys. You know, guys have good games. You know, I try not to yo-yo the, the starting lineup very much. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it, it continues to progress. Frank, I know you like, you know, you look at numbers and analytics and things like that. Have you ever seen somebody... 20 points in the second half on one field goal attempt. Which had. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've not. You know, I don't think I'm pretty sure I've never seen 40 and 20 in 30, 30 minutes. Yeah. How, you know? What was happening that allowed him to get to the line, you know, as, as effectively as he did? Well, like I said, he he puts pressure, you know, by not settling for the jump shot. He was attacking the basket with the basketball, and you know, I think one of the, you know, the things that's not really as visible to everyone is. Uh, Dwight Howard's presence out there and JaVale McGee, those guys being active on the glass, and they require a lot of attention. You know, so now Anthony a lot of times getting single coverage on box outs and he's he's dominating those, you know, so to have those two guys, uh, you know, both attacking the glass the way they are. I mean, Anthony had eight offensive rebounds. He probably got fouled on most of them, 